Right, I'm at Story Camp in Ludlow with Carl Savage, who's been running a session this morning on on his grandparents' memoir. So, Carl, you want to tell us a little bit about what the session was? Um, so, I ran a session on my grandparents' memoirs um, and how to convert them digitally online. Um, my grandparents made these memoirs uh, when I, we got them a computer. Um, they spent hours typing it out. Um, and my, grand, my nan's side were all in italics and my granddad's were all in normal, and it's side by side throughout the entire thing. They printed it all off, uh, photocopied some pictures into it, and then uh, stuck it all in a big sleeve and then deleted it um, without telling me. So uh, I've been going through the process of scanning it all and then using software at work to get it back into a f f digital format, basically. And then I wanted to discuss um, how do you take something like this and put it online? Uh, how, how do you, at the same time, respecting what they've already written um, and their privacy and their fears of the internet, um, put something like that online? And a lot of things were discussed, and it helped me, but the idea was I thought it might help a few other people, which it did, because they've got similar situations and stuff like that. And I think the main thing that came up with it is you've got to do it with their permission. You've got to talk to them about it. But then you've got to take the workload and worry away from them and start it. And then as you start it and show them how it's working, then you can engage them more. Um, and use tools like Posterous because they can then just email in updates to the blog because we decided the best way to do it would probably be the blog. Um, and then um, film them possibly, telling them more, going into detail about a certain story and then or using Audio Boo to uh, have, have some audio along with the things and then uh, finding more pictures that can work with the story and stuff like that. Um, so I've got to go home now and um, talk to my grandparents and um, basically I think I've actually got to start it, do it privately, show them and then talk to them. Because talking to them about it without them seeing it is one thing, but mm -hmm. seeing it and doing it and showing them, that's what I need to do. So yeah, we, we've got some tools, everyone's really enjoyed the session, it was good and the story comes so far has been brilliant. Fantastic. So I think what's coming out of this to me is that people have always done this sort of stuff, but digital tools allow us to collect the information that might have previously been lost, is that right? Yes, it's, um, it's a good way of bringing it all together. That, that's, I think that's the thing, because one, one, one thing my grandparents have got is lots of cine film, like my granddad did cine film, and my granddad's granddad did cine film, and stuff like this. Mm. Um, so at the same time, we can bring that into it, and being able to say to my, my grandparents, one, one way that was brought up actually of like getting my grandparents over their fear is like, well, remember when you first picked up that new modern cine film that no one else had got? Mm. Um, this is this is the modern day version of that. That was expensive to do. This is looks difficult to them, but it's not um, to do. So you've just got to get past that hurdle. So yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, that's great. Thank you. No problem.